So let's say that you want to create a new admin API key for one of your uh, team member. So what you need to do is to use the API action that is called create admin key and input the new admin key name over here, which we are using uh, the first input for that. And also input the actions and the collections that you want these actions to be uh, controlling. So, and don't forget about the uh, double quotations uh, over here. <coughs> so let's say, let's head over here. Let's say that you want the admin um, API key called new one, for example. And the action you can either use star. Star means that it allows the owner uh, of this uh, admin API key to do everything, all the actions that uh, they are allowed to do. And the collection, if you also choose, uh, have chosen star, that means that they can perform every action on any um, collection within the cluster. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, it's created now. Let's check the data here. Let's refresh. So this is the new um, admin API key that was created. Okay. <coughs> so now what if we want to create another uh, admin API key, but that only create collections. So you need to, it will be in the form, for the action it will be in the form of the uh, resource and then the action that you want or the verb. This is how you will see it in the TypeSense documentation. So for example you will be using collections create. So this will allow the owner of this key to only create a new collections. Okay or to create within the uh, collections. So now let's say that we are only want to grant them this action over a collection called movies underscore 1k. Let's create this one and it's over here. Check and as you see it have changed to another API key. So now let's get started with creating a parent search only API key. And this will be very useful when you want to uh, grant uh, some search uh, experience for certain collections or to use it later to create a more secured uh, API search only keys. And we will see that in, in a few moments. So let's create the parent search only API key. So let's give it a name. New two, for example. <coughs> and the collection, as we said, if you just have chosen star, that will give it uh, access to all the collection within the um, within the cluster. But if you want to grant it only. Um, access to a certain collection so you need to specify that collection so here let's have a look first at this this is empty and let's create this one okay let's now check the data it was updated so this is the new uh, parent search on the uh, so now let's create a secured API key for search only. So for example, all you need, uh, all you need for this secure uh, API key is what uh, type of filtration you want to perform. 
this is, by the way, a virtual API key, so you will not be able to find it within your TypeSense um, API keys um, dashboard. So, for example, we have the attributes, uh, uh, the attribute called title within each document, um, and each document, of course, for each movie. So we want only to retrieve the documents that has a title that is called, for example, Toy Story and the American President. Okay, so that's the only thing that you need from this. Now, as you see here, this is the virtual um, search only API key. So let's use this. And before I tell you how uh, we created that. Let's give it a test. So let's go to the index. Go to type sense screen vector. So here, uh, <coughs> let's hit the index here. Okay, and let's preview it. So as you see, it only filters the two movies that we have been talking about, that we filtered. Alright, so now let's head back to the action that we created to create that. So we have created the back end of our action. And this is called secured uh, key using the plugin um, server side action called generate secured uh, key. So don't worry about the admin API key that you will be adding here um, or the parent search only. <coughs> okay, so all you need to add here is the nodes host, node port, pro protocol admin key and the parent uh, search only key that we created before and of course your filters so here you just need to schedule it add the nodes host that you can have from uh, your cluster uh, and of course make sure to make the nodes port uh, 443 and the protocol as HTTPS and that's it